Okay, here we are. Steve Cypress here. I'm covering up the camera with my hand. There we go. Welcome to Success Story, Saturday, November 25th, 2017. Steve Cypress here on another spectacularly beautiful sunny fall day here in sunny Arizona, uh, mid-80s, as the sun is beginning to set. Just a spectacular, beautiful day. Wish you were here. And uh, Rhino of the Day is this uh, hand-carved wooden rhino, two-horned rhino, hand-carved in Africa. Very cool, tough, a little tough to see in the light, but uh, very cool hand-carved rhino. And something rare for my collection is in perfect shape. Has, doesn't have any horns broken off from some time when I moved and packed it poorly or whatever. So uh, way to go. Very rare to have a rhino that doesn't uh, have any wounds from being attacked all the time, as the rhino being the symbol of the entrepreneur, we know we get attacked all the time. We, uh, that's, uh, we live in the jungle, and we know that's our life, is people attacking us and people saying no and not buying our stuff and competitors attacking us and on and on. Uh, and here in America, the government attacking us all the time, but I digress. Today's Success Story Saturday is a successful entrepreneur in honor of the American holiday of Thanksgiving that just passed a couple of days ago. We had about 20-something people here at our home for Thanksgiving, friends, family, clients. Uh, and the traditional main course served at Thanksgiving in the United States is turkey. And so here's the story of a turkey farmer, entrepreneur. His name is Lance, Lamson Opiemi from Lagos, Nigeria. And uh, he started, I believe, his first uh, uh, foray into the agriculture business was a turkey farm. But since then, he started all kinds of other farms. Uh, and he dabbled in all kinds of different things, as, as we entrepreneurs do. In fact, lots of nine-to-five job workers switch careers all the time. But entrepreneurs, you know, if one opportunity doesn't work out, we're looking for another one. And he was looking and looking. And he got into turkey farming. And there's some really important lessons here. So one is he uh, might have studied Michael Gerber, the e-myth. And if you haven't read that... It's a holiday weekend, good time to, to read. You ought to get a copy of that. Fairly quick read. Uh, but uh, by Michael Gerber, a book that every entrepreneur should read, The E-Myth, E-Myth Revisited, whatever version you read. Uh, the main gist of that is that you want to put systems into place in your business. And one suggestion, big suggestion Michael Gerber gives is uh, he talks about the biggest, biggest mistake he sees entrepreneurs make is we get involved in a business that we love to do. So we love something. We have a passion for doing it. You hear all the time, I have a passion for X. So, you know, I have a passion for chiropractor, for helping people, so I became a chiropractor. I have a passion for art, so I became a commercial artist, things like that. He, uh, 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 Gerber cautions that when you do that, you're going to tend to get too much involved in the doing of the business, which kills the, the growth and the profitability of your business, of course, because you should spend all the time in your business, there are plenty of people that do stuff. Only entrepreneurs are the ones that can cast the vision and take the risk and figure out how to solve problems and to gather up resources and put them together in a way that creates a more valuable asset. That's what we do. That's a definition of entrepreneurs. So that's this Lamson Opiani, what he did. He picked turkey farming because he said, I want to go into farming. And he uh, successfully... Uh, uh, implemented the very first step of the WOW strategy, which is he picked an ideal target who that he wanted to do business with him. And he figured out and found out that the most affluent, richest people in Nigeria uh, prefer turkey to any other kind of meat. And so he said, instead of, you know, chickens or pigs or anything else, turkey was the food of the elite, the wealthy, so, of course, just as easy to sell something that's cheap as it is to sell something expensive, you've got to do all the same stuff. He can make a lot more money serving a lot better clientele by going into the turkey business. So that's a great couple of things he did there. Number one, he knew nothing about the turkey business. So that's where the e-myth comes in. He, it, it's not like he said, oh, I'm a farmer, what should I farm? I know nothing about agriculture. And the first step he did is pick a, an ideal target who 
that could pay him premium prices and he would love to serve and like refers like and they would refer other wealthy people and this is the best clientele to deal with most impervious to the economy and the ups and downs other people have the money to spend so he picked the affluent market and then he learned everything he could about the agriculture business and he studied it in a way that I always uh, uh, use the Peter Drucker quote who said uh, business uh, wasn't drug it's a different quote I was telling somebody yesterday but uh, basically I don't know who came up with it and maybe it was Drucker but uh, that business comes down to two things and I talk about it all the time so I don't know who came up with it business is all about human behavioral psychology and math and so Lamson Opiemi approached this business from that standpoint the behavioral psychology was who are the very best customers what do they like to eat oh turkey then I'm gonna go into the turkey farming business and because that's what entrepreneurs do that's the easiest way to make money find a problem people have or something they want and then find a way to get it to them that's how you get paid and then number two we figured out all the math and not being a farmer and entering the business he really took a scientific approach and he figured out the cost of turkeys and the cost of the coops and the cost of the feed and the difference between the the quality feed and less quality should they be free range should they be caged they should be caged for a certain amount of time and then free range because because he figured out the mortality rate of the turkeys and took that into consideration so it was very easy for him to raise funds when he had all the math done in fact he talks about uh, not even having to raise funds because he can just start with a male and a female turkey and then sell the eggs and make more money and buy another turkey and feed the turkeys and so forth and how much per pound how much pounds of eight pounds of feed to produce a 13 pound turkey or 13 pounds of feed for an eight pound turkey whatever he did all the math figured out and he figured a way to recoup his entire investment in the first six months of the business and after that he's into profit and he's off and running so he went from there being a true entrepreneur he then set up a website which uh, I'll put the link uh, down in the comments because I don't remember it offhand, but it's something like um, uh, Farming biz setup or something like that. I'll put the link uh, down below where he is now an info marketer He now teaches other prospective business owners farmers entrepreneurs how to start various agriculture businesses I mean go to the website. It's kind of crazy. He's got all kinds of reports and ebooks uh, teaching everything from pig farming, rabbit farming, dog breeding, uh, corn farming, of course turkey farming and egg farms and uh, the fish farms. I mean, he's got like uh, 15 or 20 different businesses that he's teaching on there. So not only had, did he learn how to make money in the agriculture business, then he started teaching it to make even more money. So really successful true entrepreneur my hat is off not even wearing one of course but if i was i would take it off to mr lamson opm which by the way starting a business from what i hear not the easiest or cheapest thing to do in lagos nigeria like it is here in the u.s starting a business man i mean there are thousands of businesses started every day i don't know what the number is but you know tens of thousands whatever very easy just start a business and but if you if you do it right you're gonna do it like lambs and opium he did you're gonna look at it as a business and not say oh I'm gonna do something I love and then get all caught up in the doing you know he never got caught up I I would think in the oh I I just love cleaning up the droppings of the turkeys which by the way is another thing he says that everything to do with that farm is sellable including the droppings the feathers the 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 meat from the turkeys the eggs from the turkeys on and on and on so this guy just said how can I make money how can I take resources put them together in a, a way that they are worth more than the individual resources themselves a turkey a coop some feed some land how can I put that all together I mean that's that's all anybody can can get land anybody can buy feed anybody can buy a turkey but it takes an entrepreneur to put that all together and put it into a profitable way choose the right market to serve and then go on from then even better to start teaching others and sell the information to teach those other prospective people to follow in the footsteps and make money that way as well so he's got multiple multiple streams of income tremendous success and I would think he's got plenty of students who duplicated his efforts and even if they duplicated half of what he did and it took them a year to make their money back uh, what a great service he's providing a great great thing he's doing 
fantastic success story Saturday, a uh, success story for this Saturday, and uh, in celebration of the entrepreneur and in celebration of the turkey. So that's it for Success Story Saturday, November 25th. I'll check in tomorrow on Sunday Fun Day, and I hope you'll be with me. I don't see, I don't know how to, maybe I did something wrong here to not see if anybody's here or any comments or questions. Uh, if not, put them below and I'll, I'll comment or respond to them later. And I hope I'll see you again tomorrow on Sunday Fun Day. Thanks for being here today. Over and out.